Hello everyone, this is Graham Zimmerman, the Phoenix Contact Product Manager at Airline Hydraulics. Today I'm really excited to show you the brand new FL WLAN 4321. And this is a long range Ethernet communications radio system that becomes pre-configured and can extend your Ethernet communications up to two miles. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you how to set the device up as it only takes a few minutes. So let's get into it now. Okay, so I'm gonna set up radio number one here. Each radio does come with a passive PoE injector, which has an RJ45 and a power connection on one side of it. And on the other side, it has a PoE plus data RJ45 port where you'll plug an ethernet cable into it, into the radio itself. So the first step is to grab the power supply and plug it into the power port. Then use your standard ethernet cable and plug it into the PoE plus data port into the radio, which will actually power and send data to this radio. So now after a few seconds, you can see the power is on in the radio. And then I'll use the other RJ45 connection on the PoE injector to plug into my ethernet switch. And after I plug that in, you'll actually see a link indication LED on the radio itself, which means it is connected to that switch. We're gonna do the same thing with radio number two. So you use your PoE injector, plug the power supply into the power port, then grab your standard ethernet cable and plug it into the PoE plus data side, and then into your radio number two. After a few seconds, you will see radio number two boot and you'll see the power LED come on on the far left side, as we see here. And then the radios will start to connect because they are pre-configured. So we should see some connection LEDs come on here. So you can see that on both radio number two and radio number one. So we have our two connected radios. My first radio is connected to my managed switch over on this side. And this is my laptop connected to the same managed switch so I can ping. Radio number two is connected to a PLC with the IP address 192.168.1.5, which is on the same network as that managed switch on the other side. And what I'm gonna do is ping from the switch to the controller using these wireless radios to show you how it works. So my computer is connected to the switch of radio number one. I am going to try to ping on the other side of radio number two, that PLC. And as you can see, we're getting a reply and everything is communicating properly. Thanks for watching and you can hit the link in the description below for more information on this product. Also feel free to hit the thumbs up if you've liked this video and subscribe to our airline YouTube channel for more content.